Hi, Vince Owen here up on the driving range at Horizons Golf Resort and want to talk through some of the uh, funny aspects of a golf swing that we just really can't see, can't see it on a video camera. Um, be lucky if you ever saw it in real life to your naked eye. So my favourite subject is swing plane. So this board here, when we get to see it, represents pretty much what the golf club would do. And these are my coffee crazy tool here. It represents the angle of this shaft meets the head out there. And we classify that as a swing plane. Now this red tube is coming at the club face at a right angle, which basically represents what the face would do to the golf ball. If the face is pointed to the right, you can see the ball's going to head out to our right. So when we relate it to swing plane, what we want to see here is that the club face points in an interesting location as we move the club along. Okay. Forward. And we can see as, in it, as we start to enter the downswing, the red tube pointing to the right. If I bring my top ball back into play here, and I'm going to get Jack, the trusted cameraman, there to have a look, see down on top of this ball. And you'll see there that I've put the golf ball, giant ball that I've got here, soccer ball, into quadrants. We want to hit this quadrant right here into quarters. We want to hit what we call the inside corner of the ball. So with the club travelling down this board in the simulated I'd perfect world, perfect golf shot world, the red tube would be facing slightly to the right of the target. Now that might make very little sense to us as right-handers. How on earth would the ball go at the target if the face is pointing out to the right? Well, there's a moment in time here now that we're sort of missing and the moment in time will be when the club face first touches the ball I want you to understand the club face comes in and squashes the ball the ball sits on the face for a period of time of approximately a sixteen thousandth of a second and the moment it releases off the face is the moment the club face is pointing to the target so it looks a little bit like this wonderful that you've learnt that beautiful bit of information there and this is how it can really help you. Basically the mo one of the most common problems in golf is called human desire which is halfway down I'd like the ball to go at the target that's a really strong desire. I'd love the ball to go at the target and so I start pointing the club at the target. Now if we go back to a few sentences ago the ball sits on the face for a period of time in that period of time, it's enough time for the post to go from that to that. So if I start there, that same period of time, the post is going to be pointing to the left by the time the ball is released off the face. And if you don't understand that, I totally get it, because you're going to have to really imagine that actually happens. It's really hard to see it, even on a video camera at high speed, even with the latest Google technology you can possibly find there. A scientific fact is that the ball will get squashed against the face, sit on the face and rebound off the face. What we don't know is that the face, for us right-handers here, I do apologise to all left-handers here, I have to do a left-handed segment later on, that the face would be pointing to the right at the initial contact, then pointing at the target at the moment the face is now, sorry, at the moment the ball is going to separate off the face. Pointing to the right at initial contact, pointing at the target at separation. So the club face is going from right to at the target there. From pointing to the right to pointing at the target. When it points at the target, the ball releases off the face. So again, if the club face comes in and points at the target when it first touches it, by the time it's ready to release it, it's pointing, as you can see, that's pointing to the left. So that helpfully might explain some of the shots that go to the left, but it does explain a lot about in an early downswing, sorry, downswing, the early pointing of the club face at the target is disastrous. How do we fix that? We're trying to do everything to the right. Oh, wow. That could be troublesome for some people that always hit it to the right, to hit it a little bit to the right. But we've got to work on this from an ideal point of view. An ideal world says what I've just said. Club face will be pointing to the right of the target. Running down plane, club face is always pointing to the right, gets to the ball, touches the ball, squashes it, releases pointing at the target there. 
hopefully you can find some of this information a little bit intriguing and starts to get your imagination working with what the club should do. Obviously following up with a golf lesson would be ideal and we can help make you feel what we're talking about right here. But if I can get that imagination working about what the club does during the golf swing and then forever and day you'll be a better golfer. Look forward to seeing you out here at Horizons Golf Resort.